Hey, what's going on, brothers and sisters in Christ? Um, I thought I'd do um, another video. It's um, about 3 o'clock in the morning, and it's um, February the, the 5th. Um, I would like to just say just keep just keep praying for your family and your your friends and keep praying for like the the unsaved people and um just hope that they give their hearts to Jesus Christ and um you just got to just keep focusing on Jesus Christ because our Lord is coming soon. I know a lot of us believers have been saying that for many years. Just remember that one day to the Lord is a thousand years to us. And it's pretty much like Christ coming. Like he, I would say, um, he died like two days ago or a day ago. And um, he's coming back like as soon as possible. So pretty much, let me put it like this. Um, so if I were to leave for like a day or two and another person will be saying oh he's coming back and then I'll be returning within a few few days and then stuff like that so you kind of get the meaning you know just um, the reason why a lot of us believers been saying that he's been coming back like so much like the percentage is going way up in the past few years is because like um, on the Feast of Trumpets, like I think it's during like September, October, or somewhere around there, I'm not sure, but the reason why we keep saying it so much is because we expect the Lord to come and that's when we like, like we start to lift our heads up. So um, we're just pretty much rehearsing um, for like uh, the big stage, I would say. Um, just like if you were going on to a play, you know, you just rehearse multiple times and then you go on the big stage and have that big moment and then you just caught up in the air. So that's what we're doing. We're just rehearsing for the rapture and making sure everyone's there and just making sure that the timing's perfect for the audience and and the audience is up in heaven and so we just gotta keep focusing on Jesus Christ and just keep reading your Bibles and um, um, I don't have too many dreams at night. Like I still pray to the Lord and ask Him for, for like a dream or whatever. But like I still have my dreams. I'm still trying to figure them out because I'm like I'm only 25 years young, and um, I have an eye to see and an ear to hear. I see those triple numbers. Um. But I I feel like I'm separated, like I'm one of the sheep, and I'm just separated from all the, the goats and stuff like that. And I just I just know. And um, um I don't know if I would say this, but like around like in the areas like wherever I go, like I have a really close bond with children and animals. So. That is just really weird for me because, like, all the kids, they love me. And I don't know, I feel, I feel like I'm kind of like like St. Christopher in a way, but I don't know. And then I'm also kind of like in a mix of, like, Noah because he brings in lots of animals. He's good with the animals and stuff like that. But that would be pretty cool to um, when I get to heaven is to be, like, a shepherd for sheep. That would be pretty awesome. Or I would love to have angel wings. That would be like the one thing I would like to pray about for and ask God. This is that He gives me angel wings, which would be really awesome because I would always like to experience just to fly and just have beautiful white dove like wings and stuff like that. So um yeah, just just keep focusing on Jesus Christ. And knowing that our redemption draws nigh, our timing is at hand. Um, yeah, just just keep going, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you soon, okay?